running a marathon either half or full is one of those things that many of us put on our to-do list for a certain age milestone but few people would consider doing it dressed as a mascot. I'm with Lloyd Scott, perhaps one of the most well-known mascot runners, famed for doing the London Marathon, New York Marathon and the Great North Run dressed in a deep sea diving suit. Now running a marathon is hard enough, why do it dressed as a mascot? Well, I've, I've done all my sort of marathons running in the normal sort of outfits, the vests and, and shorts, and just wanted to do something a little bit different. And then started off, you know, what can I do it uh, in? Initially, I did it as a, as a fireman, as I worked as a fireman, and it kind of it kind of went on on from there really, um, just to really put kind of a different slant, uh, and then also obviously to to raise money and, and draw attention to uh, the charities that I'm supporting. So, how does training to run a marathon as a mascot differ to that as a normal competitor? Oh, it is, it is actually different. You've still got to uh, maintain your, your fitness levels, but obviously you've got to be aware of the different types of stresses and strains that it's going to put um, on, on your body. Um, the deep sea diving suit, for example, very, very heavy on the shoulders, about 70 pounds worth of weight on the shoulders, and each boot was 25 pounds in weight. So trying to train for, for that, it, um, uh, it is different. One thing I have to say is although dressing up as a mascot or in fancy dress um, it actually looks fun and you get a great res response from, from the crowds it actually um, isn't a great deal of fun unless you can actually get your head around the fact that you're not going to be able to move as quickly you're not going to be able to run um, as easily when you actually don a, um, a mascot's outfit. Now tell me a little bit about what you're up to at the moment and a bit about this outfit. Right. My next venture is going to be on the 12th of October. I'm taking part in the Royal Parks Half Marathon, sponsored by Nokia. Um, I had a cunning, cunning plan uh, to dress up as a fox, complete with my towel, uh, accompanied by my team of woodland creatures over there, the badger, the rabbit and the squirrel. Uh, and we're going to be pounding around uh, the Royal Parks and the 13 miles on the 12th of October. Been doing lots and lots of training in the suit. I come to my Nokia sports tracker. It tells me how far I've gone, what my best sort of time is for my, for my training. So that's been a real handy uh, thing to have. And um, yeah, just watch out for us on, on the 12th. Now, your personal best as a mascot is four and a half hours. Now, I'm going to try and beat that. I'm going to give you this. Okay. And swap well. it with this. All the best. And I'll see you. Good luck. <laughs> and off you go. <laughs> If you want to cheer on Lloyd, his Woodland friends and all the other runners, then the Royal Parts Foundation Half Marathon starts 10am Sunday the 12th of October at Hyde Park in London.